Hi all my crafting friends, Tracy here with Sweet Bay Lane. I'm so glad you stopped in to craft with me because this is part one of a three-part series I'm doing featuring these cute little wood craft rings from the Dollar Tree. So let's go ahead and get started. We start the project with the larger wood craft rings that come in a set of two. And we're going to paint our rings or stain, whatever you prefer. I'm going to be using paint this time and the base colors are going to be green and a light tan. And I'm going to come in and do a dry brush technique with the dark brown. Once that's done, we then come in with a piece of sandpaper and distress our wood rings. Now once we've sanded our rings, we'll then come in and we'll give them a clear coat. I'm going to be using this gloss by Color Shot. Okay, great, those are looking so pretty now. The next step we're gonna be doing is picking out our favorite photographs and printing them out on a white or cream colored cardstock. I chose white for mine and I'm using some old family photos. Now, this is pretty self-explanatory and the only real trick to this is making sure that you print out your photographs small enough to fit in the center of your wood ring, whatever your subject is. Mine's going to be family members and we're going to be using the wood rings as a frame of sort around our photographs. Once we have that figured out, we then come in with our Elmer's purple glue stick. We cover the back side of our ring and then we just adjust it on our photograph. Once we have it adjusted, we then just press it down onto our paper. And once it's dried, we then come in with a basic pair of sharp scissors and we just trim away the outer edge of our photograph. Okay. 
Once we have our paper trimmed from around the outer edge, we're then left with these two round photo frames, which I think are adorable on their own and can be used for a million different things. But for this video, we're going to be turning them into ornaments. And to do that, I just chose a matching ribbon. I actually chose my ribbon by a color I picked out from the photograph. So the one photo had a touch of red and the other had a touch of orange, which is my mother's red hair when she was younger. And I just proceed to cut a little piece of the ribbon for the hanger and then I make a little bow for each ornament. And look at them, I think they turned out so cute. I'm so in love with this project. I can't wait to make more. I'm so excited for the holidays, I can't wait. Also, I made two others off camera just to show you kind of a contrast of different colors that I used. And these I just used a black and white and gray theme and I think they turned out stunning as well. They far exceeded my expectations. Well, my crafting friends, that wraps it up for this DIY project. And I love how they turned out. I can't wait to make more for the holidays. And I hope it inspires you to make some of your own. Also, if you haven't yet become a part of our community, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we would love to have you here at Sweet Bay Lane. Well, until next time, keep it crafty.